Hope you guys are Christ is here and Clara, whose people are our brothers. As a matter of fact, it's your son who brought him. Children are so powerful in this game. Hmm. Vivi is seven, Aiko is six, and they're going on these horrible world-saving missions and using and throwing around holy and ultima everywhere. And then you have this and then you have Puck who looks like he's five yeah, going around the world. Like... Yeah, that really wouldn't be allowed, would it, in a real world? Especially because according to this game, uh, Puck's been gone from Bermisha for about three years. If you look at his Damn, size, so it would have been has... two years old, buddy. <laughs> He would have been hell, some, somewhere between two and four when he left. Been able to speak properly, never mind. Fucking do that. <laughs> Depending on, I don't know how um, uh, the rat people in Final Fantasy IX actually grow, but unless they have a major growth spurt in their teens or something, Puck is probably somewhere between two and four when he leaves Bermisha, and around seven when he when this game takes place. <laughs> They're not exactly tall either, are they? Do you know what I mean? They're only they're only little. Yeah. Poor son. I wish you guys could hear the music, but you can't. Oh, hi, Beatrix. How are you doing? There's only one way I can get away with doing that, and that's if I turn the mic off so it doesn't relay back round. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> Pathetic rodents. You failed to grasp the true power of this jewel. Oh, that's not good. Now that I have this jewel, I'm through with your city. Bye, Beatrix! Wow, she can jump. Boss fight time! Well, after I collect all of my items from the people I saved, give me your stuff. Give me your stuff, too. And this. Thank you. I'm just taking everybody's stuff. Prison Evil Merchant comes into play. <laughs> You're buying. What are you selling? I've got a story about that, actually. <laughs> Thank you. At one of the first uh, conventions I went to, I had a friend who dressed up as the merchant from Resident Evil 4. He found another merchant dressed up as. Um, another person dressed up as the merchant. And they stood next to each other, opened up their coats, and went, What are you buying? What are you selling? Back and forth for about ten minutes straight in the middle of con space. There's, there's the, uh, the Mega 64 one, isn't there, where the bloke gets arrested when he keeps getting up to people in the street dressed up as the merging animal. <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hi, Beatrix! You're a bigger fool than I imagined. You've forgotten how badly I beat you back in Demisha. So you're, so you're more the fool for not finishing what you started. You're gonna pay. I find no tasties in this town, so we cook you for breakfast. Then allow me to shatter your illusions of grandeur. Okay. Well, and I've now I. Like have a dual fate is plain. What was that? You chat like that, fight, talk like that. You should have some dual fates playing from Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Beatrix. How are you? Time for you to kick my ass, right? Let's see what she got here. Oh crap! I don't have Reese's wind anymore. God damn it! Oh well, Zidane's about to trance, so Beatrix is dead anyway. Cause trance is Zidane's trance is too OP. Then again, Beatrix hits like a truck. Zidane, thank you for stealing the phoenix down, but I wanted you to steal something a little bit better than that. Oh crap, I forgot to, um... I forgot to give Vivi more MP before this fight started. <laughs> oh, there we go, that's more what I was looking for. Excuse me, you are not allowed to one-hit KO BB. That's illegal. Do you know what's even more illegal? What? Bloody buffering! <laughs> Just fucking started buffering on me. Oh, what? 
It doesn't like it. Yes, that well. music actually is quite sad, isn't it? God damn it! I did actually kind of mute everything so I could actually hear the music. Yeah. That poor thing there's got some serious waddle problem. Okay. Please hit it on, please hit it on, please. Don't put your cure on yourself! Mm. The nerve of this woman. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Oh, kick their ass. And now Quinna is dead. The fight is gonna turn into fucking shambles. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but Quinna with that dumb waddle is just like, oh my god. <laughs> Quinn, his, his waddle is pretty great. Okay, either need to shit waddle. or he's already had one, and that's why he's not putting his legs together because it will yeah. just squish everywhere. Their waddle is pretty great. <laughs> oh, what a fucking flop back that was. Oh, bloody hell, Buffer again. Oh, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Be nice. It doesn't like you. <laughs> stop playing silly bosses on. <laughs> I hope that's not a fucking sign of the storm heading back this bloody way either. That will do my not in. It's not dead yet. Please hit Zidon. Zidon's the one who's gonna trance, and if Zidon trances, this fight's over. There we go. Oh, the fight's over anyway. Zidon doesn't trance. No more games. And then she kicks my ass. Ooh. Weird, and oh, and he tranced at the end of the fight in the la with the last attack. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> I'm gonna waste your trance now. I'm gonna waste your trance now. Yeah. Of course. This game hates me. It's such a love-hate relationship we have. What about every time Beatrix just leaves them? She never actually finishes them off. Hey, they disappeared. What now, Freya? Good question. Queen says this game still looks like FF8, graphically wise, anyways. It kind of does, except for like, um, it is a higher quality, I'd say, with the background, with the backgrounds and things like that. Um, and of course, the models are completely different because they're more cheapified to um, showcase the old style. Because that's why they're cheapified in this game, is because of how the models were rendered and how the models looked in like 6 and previous, and 7, technically. Mm. So they have the big hands and the big head, but the relatively small bodies. Yeah. And Kina doesn't join us and just runs away. And no like heights. And that is their explanation for not having Kina in the party for this section. Do you really want that flying above you? Seriously? Yeah. I mean, if it accidentally shit and landed okay. on you, you know what I mean? Oh, good god. Now it's time for everyone to be very sad. With this oh talk matter, I will now hold- I now hold the power to summon an Eidolon! Now I'll find out if Gucci's claims are true. Odin, come to me! I don't like her. I don't like her either, but now she now I don't like her even more because what she's gonna do. It's time. Yep. So uh bye Clara. It was nice bye. It was nice knowing ya. Without her summoning for I can't see off this tank got the glasses on, so took off so I could actually cut it. Lay you down comfortably without them digging in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck is that? Yep. Death Star. <laughs> Pre pretty much a Death Star's Clara. Beatrix Death Star's Thousand Clara. Jedi's Thousand Jedi's felt that one. Any yeah, knowledge? She had a, she, she had a curry earlier, you know. <laughs> it's things like this that make me want to 
smack Garnett upside the head. Because had she not left the party and gone, b tried to go back to Alexandria to reason with her mother, that wouldn't have happened. Because Bronn wouldn't have had or, or wouldn't have been able to um, get the summons without Garnett. Jeez, did you see that? Tara, Puck, Kina, they're all gone. Damn it! Oh yeah, what happened to Beatrix? Bet she's on this ship. I don't think Freya's gonna move anywhere at the moment. She's kind of having ex an existential crisis. Please, leave me alone. Oh, handy. They all just pop out of them jars, look. Yep. See, that's the kind of teleportation technology we need in this day and age. Make things much easier. Ah! Beatrix theme! So pretty! I would say just wait a while they might do a HD remake. <laughs> <laughs> if they did an HD remake of Final Fantasy IX, oh, I call voice and Garnet. Welcome back, General. How is her they Majesty? They've done it to ten. They've done it to ten. Yeah. She's eagerly awaited your return. I'm certain she will shower you with for praise for our victory. Your supremacy is without question now. Sanders Knights of Pluto are nothing compared to you. Tell her majesty that I'll report to her shortly. That was ridiculous. My troops alone would have been more than enough to take Clara. Why does the Queen insist on using black mages and idolins? I didn't train all these years to take a backseat to anyone. You three, get on the telepod and go to Alexandra immediately. Right. Why do the females of the Alexandrian army wear leotards? The Knights of Pluto have full armor. But the female um, members of the army have leotards. Maybe Steiner was right. I don't understand. Did you hear that? Looks like bronze aboard this ship. Yay. I think there's something over here. There's something over here? I thought there was. I guess I'm wrong. Oh well. Onward. Bum, 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 Can you see anything? Oh, that wasn't that wasn't baby. <laughs> Oops. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Oh, don't use that. Tricks. What? <laughs> Sorry, I have to be obnoxious when I voice when I voice Braun, I have to be absolutely obnoxious. Did you get the item? This is, is this it, Your Majesty? Yes, this is it. Great. Cool story. Yeah, out and it's flying. Yeah. No water, just flying. Ah, with this, I can finally. No, I need one more. I must get the last jewel. Well, you still Wait, have one more jewel. says that Dane is the only first cat boy I've ever seen. Ha! There's loads of boy cats all over the place. Uh, oh, boy cat. And if you, there are quite a few yaoi's, yaoi mangas that send around cat boys. <laughs> She's no longer of any use to me? Wow, you are a shit mother. <laughs> what do you mean, your majesty? Garnet has committed a crime! I shall have her executed for stealing the jewel! What? Don't make me repeat myself! When we get back to Alexandria, I'll have Garnet beheaded! Now go, find the last jewel! Your Majesty. You're going to behead your daughter, that's not very nice. Not particularly, is it really? Come on. And now Zidane's pissed. His love interest is going to be killed. So what are you just staying? We're just gonna stand here? We've oh, gotta wait, go to Alexandria that's for the nasty. Bronze, the only that execute the bitch. Yeah. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. No, we are not executing Garnet. She's my favorite goddamn character. We're gonna save her goddamn ass. Ah, I guess it's time to follow Bibi. That 
was a Moogle. I have to go say hi to the Moogle. Moogle! Moogle! Where's the Moogle? There's the Moogle. You are Moogle. I have a letter for you. <laughs> By the time this letter reaches Serena, Clamor may be destroyed. Stiltskin keeps saying, I've been through stuff like this before, we'll be fine, but what if we don't make it this time? Or what if we- eh. <laughs> I didn't succeed in being a Koopa that time. Has Nemesis died? I have no idea. Okay. Fine, fine. Nemesis isn't dead yet. Oh, I'll just do it. It's starting to get warm here. This is bad. I don't like it when it's warm. No, my laptop doesn't like it when it's bloody warm either. Seems like Vivi has a plan. Vivi, tell us your plan. Sure, let's take the pods. This is going to end swimmingly for all parties involved. You know, that's something the game never explains, is how Kina survives the explosion. Because that was a damn near atomic blast. She's got a Master Chief suit on. Kina yeah. has master has uh, master cheats. Oh great! Now we're Steiner again. <clears throat> the time has come to escape. How? I don't know, but we must do something. Wait, I have an idea. 